The 1967 referendum asked Gibraltarians to choose between retaining British sovereignty or passing under Spanish rule. Just 44 people chose the latter, with 12,138 people, over 99%, voting for the rock to remain British. This overwhelming majority is what local artist Ambrose Avellano wanted to highlight with his sculpture recreating the stacks of ballot papers, what he called the skyscraper and the little bungalow at the side. It's the 21st artwork in a collection he's put together over recent years. The general exhibition deals with the um, events that have been life-changing events for Gibraltar. And of course the referendum of 1967 was monumental in doing that. And then I asked Anthony here to provide a text for the, for the exhibition and he's done a marvellous job. As, as, there's a book coming out soon and it will be documented in a book. And um, what it was, uh, I wondered what it would look like to see the ballot papers, the 12,180 ballot papers stacked up against the 44 ballot papers. And it, I, that really intrigued me, what it would look like. Now, I know the originals have been destroyed, so I decided to make them myself. Gibraltar archivist Anthony Bidaluga, in his personal capacity as a historian, provided historical context and colour. I was uh, originally a bit at a loss, although my profession entails me writing historical accounts and researching histori the history of Gibraltar. This, this, I thought, was a bit different because we're talking about art and uh, and I thought that a, a, a purely dry, factual, historical account wouldn't really do for this. So initially I scratched my head uh, for a long time until I got a formula of, of having more of an input from myself. So it was uh, the difference between a purely historical account and what these writings are is a bit of my personal experience and also a bit of... A bit of uh, uh, um, quoting from other people in history and a bit poetic and a bit, uh, y como decimos una libreta, un poquito de teatro, porque sí. la cultura lo requiere eso. Sí, sí. Um, and, and basically that's it. The installation features a ballot box and register of voters used in the referendum itself. Although the ballot papers stacked as part of the sculpture are replicas, with the originals having been destroyed as per protocol to preserve anonymity. At the unveiling, Chief Minister Fabian Picardo described the artwork as a reproduction of an act that endures to this day and an expression of the wishes of the people of Gibraltar. It'll be on display at the Garrison Library on weekdays from 9 to 5 for the next two weeks.